Hello guys, this is Mr. Sakolo here. We are going to be doing database programming. So what we are going to be doing today, this is a grade 11 lesson, information technology. Database programming, we are going to focus on inset. On our previous lesson, we were focusing on editing a field. So today we are going to focus on insert. But before we can focus on insert, let's go and recap on the previous lesson that we did about editing a field. Um, I will quickly go to Delphi. I will quickly go to Delphi. Remember last time we were dealing with this problem <clears throat> okay, um, firstly, we had, uh, we talked about three different types of editing. Firstly, there was edit whereby you were editing a single field. Secondly, and that is when you have to use the locate method to find the field that you want to edit from the database. Secondly, we talk, we talked about, um, editing multiple fields, uh, multiple records. That is when you have to set your pointer to next. And then <clears throat> thirdly, we talked about editing a field that has a certain criteria or a certain condition where you have to use the if statement and mention the criteria and after that mention what is going to happen. So last week we did um, the first one where you had to find a record and edit a single record. So now I want us to look at um, I just want us to quickly do the one of editing multiple fields. So I've got a button here. Remember on the last one where you had to locate, you were putting a name here and the surname and then previous agency. Okay, here is our table. Here's our table here. Let me run the program so that you can be able to see our table. Okay, here's the table we're talking about. So here in this table, we had this field, field for client number. I think this is the auto field for this. This is the auto auto number for this, the primary key. Okay, we've got um, client number, we've got name, which is a string, we've got surname, which is a string, Play, uh, date placed, uh, which is a date placed by, which is a string, this is the agent. And then we've got the salary, which is a real, and then we've got full time, which is for a uh, Boolean. And then, okay, so when we come here on the last program, we were using the locate method to find a field and replace it with a new one. So today I want us to come here to increase salary. Say this salary of the person has to increase by uh, 10%. So what should happen when we press this button, it should start here from the first salary and go down, increase all these salaries by 10%. So right now this is one field with multiple records. So we are going to be uh, updating all of this of these records <clears throat> here. So what I want us to do is to put the code for this. 
this is uh, remember some people I know that some of the learners confuse uh, field and the record when these are columns the columns are called fields and these rows going this way these are records so this is one field with multiple records these are the salaries of all the people that are here so all from 1 to 13 are the records and then here we've got only one field which is salary all these columns are filled but then we have to change these multiple records they all have to change with only one loop so right now i'm just going to get right into it let's go to this part double click okay we already have a width here and we already have the variables here we already have the variables here we've got the name and the surname but i don't think we need the variables here because here we are only going to work with one field we are only going to be increasing the salary so here, this is our data module that we're going to be working with. And we're working inside the this width. So what we need to do right now, we say the first thing that we need to do is to open the table. Open. Oh, we don't open it like this. So remember, we have to call the name of the table. So it's tbl clients clients dot is there anything wrong yeah what did i write wrong oh i see tbt state of tbl tbl clients, clients dot open so right now we're opening our table so that you can be able to work in it so remember here we are going to be working with multiple fields so the first thing that we need to do is to take our pointer wherever it is to the first record of the table so right now we're going to take our pointer tbl clients but first. first so this will take our pointer to the first record of the table and then now we need to loop it so right now uh, we need to use a while loop while not at the end of the table while not What is the table we're working with? It's TBL, TBL clients, clients dot end of the table, end of the table, yep, end of the table. So what do we do now? We we'll begin. Okay, put us to an end. So right now here, we need to state what we are going to do. So in this case, what we are going to do, we are going to edit. See, call our table that we want to edit TBL clients. But Oh no, that is not a dot, that is a comma dot client uh, dot edit dot edit. So we're telling so if we were inserting, we're going to tell the table that we're inserting. If we were deleting, we're going to tell the table that we are deleting. So right now we are editing. Always you must make sure that you inform the program what you are going to do. 
<clears throat> so here, what is the field that we're going to be working with? Here is the field, okay, let me run it. Hope it doesn't give me any error. No, it won't. Nothing is wrong with the code. Okay, this is the field, the name of the field. I wanted to see the name of the field. The name of the field that we're going to be working with is salary. So right now we can go back to it. Go to the code. So we're looking for TBL clients. Clients. Dot. Should I say dot? No. We need to use square bracket because we're looking for a field here. So the field is what? Is salary. Salary. And then what are we going to do with salary? We are going to increase whatever amount is there <coughs> by, ten, by, by 10 percent. So in this field, salary on table, on table, clients, we are going to increase going to increase the salary the salary by what by 10 percent salary multiply by multiply oh I'm repeating the multiply by 10 percent even if I can say one or comma one zero then close here and then this is how we this is the 10 percent that we want to put here in this salary so remember here what we need to do we need to go to the next field so we're going to say tbl clients clients dot next to put our pointer to the next record. Okay. Okay, our 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 code is complete like this. It's complete like this. Let's run it and see what is going to happen. Okay, so you see our first salary here is 20,919. Our second salary is 33,704. Then let's come here. Okay, you can see the last salary here is 32,757, 12 cent. So what is going to happen now? If our code is running correctly, when we press here, this button, all the salaries from the first one, so the pointer will be put here in the first one because we have told it here that it must go to the first one. <clears throat> and then after increasing this one, it will go to the next one at the same time and then just go downwards. Let's press it and see. Okay, you see? All the salaries has been increased by 10%. Okay, let me come here and see. See, every salary that is here has been increased, increased, increased. Let's try it again. See what's going to happen. See, it keeps on increasing it by 10%. The more that you press this button, it will keep on increasing the salary by 10%. I hope that was clear. So again, here we were increasing multiple fields. So as you have seen, as you have seen, it just increased 
all multiple records, it just increases all the records. Unlike this one that we were using here for this name, it, just, it is just only for, okay, here you see, we have increased all these fields, it just go next, next, next up until the last one. But unlike this one, okay, I didn't save the code last time we're coding it. Unlike this one, this one was only doing one field. And here we had to use the locate method. But here we, do, we only, we have only used a while loop just to set our pointer to be on the first record of the table. And then um, I'm not going to do the other one because the other one is almost more or less the same with this one. The only problem with the, the only different thing with this or with that one is because is that here you will have to put uh, if so that uh, only if you can put the condition or the criteria that uh, because uh, on the other one you are going to be also increasing multiple records but based on a certain criteria, those records, if you have five records that meet that criteria, then all these, all those five records are going to be modified, okay? But it's more or less the same with this one, okay? Um, uh, let me now go to our PowerPoint so that we can discuss insect. Okay, today's topic will be on insect. So today we're on insect, inserting a record. So on, on our next lesson, we're going to be deleting a record. Okay, so this is what is going to happen when you insert a record. Okay, let me switch off my antivirus is problematic. Okay, so here we are going to be inserting a new record in a table. So which means our database table will come, uh, we, we will be getting that record for the first time. So we are going to take it from here, insert it through Delphi, to the database table. So here, this is the method for inserting a single record. So here we, 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 we might be inserting a single record or multiple record, but what we are going to do today, we are going to look at the things that you are going to do when you insert um, a single record or when you Oh, and again, another thing that I want us to look at is um, reading a text file. So, first thing, same as like in edit, I will keep on referring to edit so that you can compare the two and see the difference. So, the first thing that you do, you are going to call your table and then open it. Second thing, you are going to, okay, this one is a bit different. Remember on that one where we had to, to uh, edit multiple fields, we had to put the pointer to the first one because it has to start from the first field and go to the, uh, from the first record and go to the last record. Keep on while it is um, editing and updating the records. But then on this one, because <clears throat> we want to put a new field now. So when we insert something, we have to put it on the last, after the last one, after the last record on the database. So here you have to set the pointer to the last, uh, to the last record of the database. And then, you have to inform your database that now you are about to info uh, to to you are about to insert a record. So you are changing the state of the data set to 
DS insert to allow the inserting of a new record. Remember, so now you can see the difference. When you edit, you are going to open, let me say you are, you are editing uh, multiple records. So you are going to open like here, the same. Secondly, you are going to put it at first, which is opposite this one. When you insert, you are going to put it on the first. And then after that, you are, okay, you are going to inform your database that you're editing. But in this case, we are only inserting a record. So these are the steps. Okay, you may say, okay, you, the, in your table, we have got only three fields. So this one is a bit easier. Just inform your table, which fields do you want to add here? You put the name, uh, you are going to put the field, tell the, tell the, the, um, the, the, the call your table, the field name, and then the field value. So the field value is the record. And then call your table, okay, for example, here, we have only, um, three fields on this table, we are assuming that this table have only three, uh, three fields. So this is how we are really going to do it, like here. So the field name, edit value, the text, and then is equal to string. <coughs> so edit name, maybe the, the second one, and then set value, dot value, integer if you are inserting something of um how can i say it okay something a value of a number this is an integer this is string and then here set value string to float it's a real maybe i i think it does make sense okay edit the text maybe field number four See, uh, 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 it's a combo box. This one is a combo box. If you are, um, I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, it's a, it's a checkbox. So checked. So this one will be a, a boolean. So and then this one will be an item box. Remember, when we uh, we, we we insert a record, we have to choose the suitable. Um, data controllers it is not always the case that we have to use the table so like if here just for example we've got one two three then it is fine for us to use uh, the table to use the table if we've got one two three it is fine for us to use the table we are not going to have a problem because this one will be inserted in a text box and then this one will also be inserted uh, not in a text box in an in an edit you insert it in an edit then you're going to get it there in the table or you can put it on an input box and then it is fine okay there are times where, where when you are going to have a boolean a boolean maybe you can use a checkbox yes the checkbox uh, will be a good example to use for a boolean because if maybe the box is unchecked, you know it's no. If the box it is checked, then you know it is yes. So another thing is item index. Item index is either you can item index like uh, when you have a um, let me say um, uh, when we, are, we have to use a radio group or maybe you can use a drop down list or you can use whatever. So when inserting a table, you have a task here. You have to look it at each and every field. What am I going to use here? look at the good thing that it's the suitable if you have a list that is okay if you have yes or no 
then it is a good practice to use a, a, a boolean. But if you have a, 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 a list of items, maybe where people have to choose, then you can use here um, a, a radio group, or you can use a drop down list. A drop down list, it is still fine. So here in this in this case, it is a bit different because you must know your data types. Be sure about your data types that you have used in the access table. That one it must be of serious concern. Okay, after you are done here, then you have to post whatever you have put there. And this one, guys, it is very, very important, this one. So many people sometimes get errors because of this problem. Okay, we'll go to the next one. After that, you have to post it. Okay, now, so now we're going to look at how can you insert data from a text file as records into a table. First thing first, open. Every time you must open your table. Okay, and then here now, after opening your table, you must assign your text file. This is how you assign your text file. We're going to use this, assign text assign file, then my text file, the name of your text file, obviously it must be of text.text, .text. reset. We're still on the text file here. So while not at the end of the text file, we are looping through the text file. So now we are starting to read the text line. We are reading each and every line that is there in the text file. And then we are inserting the new records that you have. So what is going to be happening here, we are going to be copying the lines from your text file to your database. This is the first field, how you will copy it. And then you post it. And then this is not like delete, delete, delete. It's just the procedure that you have to follow when you copy a text file and taking it into a database. This is what you need to do. And then this is line number two. This is record number two when you take it. And then this is record number three when you take it. And then another important thing here, the conversion. The conversion, if you are going to be working with an integer, remember that you must convert it from string to integer. If it is a float, convert. if it is a real, convert it from string to float. So even here, let me read this. Uh, this uh, string manipulation is needed to extract the data from the string and assign it to the different fields of the records, not the data types conversion. So these are, these are the data types conversion. Um, they are very important. So because you, we know that we have different fields, even on the previous one, the concern was on the previous where you have to insert a single record. The concern was about the fields, the field types. The field type is very important. That's why they we had to choose whether you are going to use a radio button or whether you're going to use checkbox, or you're going to use uh, radio groups, or you're going to use a drop-down list. It is very important to take note of the data types that you have on a particular data database. OK. 
okay and then you will have to save the new record and post it okay if you want to upload the changes uh, You can use the ATO table dot cancel if you want to upload. And then another thing, this one, the cancel method turns off the insert state. So you won't be putting anything. So that is why you have to use the ADO dot cancel just to turn off the insert state because in the beginning of your table, you are going to put your table into insert mode. So when you say uh, ADO table dot cancel, then you are, turning, you are turning it off. Errors when inserting data. First error that you have is the primary key. I'm sure all of us are aware of the primary key. What is a primary key? The primary key is a um, field that uh, is uniquely identifying each and every record of the table. So in a primary key, a primary key, it makes sure that each and every record in the database, they are unique. Uh, just for example, a phone number can be a primary key because no one has the same phone number with anyone. So it makes sure that all the records in the database are unique. So errors when inserting a data, pay, a data into a table, firstly, is a primary key. There should never be a field. There should always be a primary key. So here, let me read here, a primary key field contain a value that uniquely identifies a record, okay? Duplicate values in the primary key field are not allowed. So if you have duplicate various values in the primary key, it is not allowed. It is, um, remember on database management, when we talk about data integrity, so these are all the things that are not allowed here. So you have to put some techniques that are going to make sure that there is no duplication of data here. Primary key errors. Uh, primary key errors always ensure a unique primary key when inserting a new record. Numerical primary key. Um, okay, determine the highest value and add one okay so here if you have uh, a numerical primary key like for example one two three four five <clears throat> and then maybe you have let me say you have 10 records or 100 records or whatever number of records that you have so what what should happen here <clears throat> when you have a numerical primary key determine the highest value and add one. So you must uh, put a code that is going to determine the highest value in all these records that are already in the database. And then it must add one. So if you add one field, it will add one. So that's the primary key should be unique. So every time when you put another record, it should add one so that it should be unique. text primary key, use a loop to input the value that repeats until the value is unique. So here, if you are using a text primary key, you must use a loop that repeats until the value is unique. So 
Like for example, here is an example of a, of a loop that will repeat until you get a unique value, until the value that is on the primary key is unique out of all the values that you have on your field. Maybe you can put it on an input box and then you, you indicate that is a primary key. You enter a value until uh, there is no, okay, adoquery.locate primary key field name is key. Okay, you, it must, this, this field, this, uh, this, uh, this loop is going to keep on repeating this and repeat and repeat and repeat until you get a unique primary key. It is very, very important. Uh, and then inserting new records in a database, errors when inserting data into a table. Primary key errors, okay, here, um, when the primary key field is of type auto number, a unique number will automatically be assigned. So here, um, if you have set the, 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 the primary key to auto number, then it will automatically, it will be automatically assigned. And there are no changes that can be done to this field when it comes to things. You cannot do any changes here. Okay, let's come here and set in new records in a table. Data validation, when inserting new, uh, um, I've just talked about val data validation. Uh, data validation, choose the most appropriate controls to limit errors. Just like there on the first one where we had, uh, when I was talking about the data types, the data types are very important to avoid, um, so that you can apply data validation. You have to choose the most suitable controls for each and every types of the information that you're going to be putting there. And it is important that you are aware of the data types of your Microsoft uh, Access database. If you have a field that has limited characters of words, you know that uh, you are going to set it into text, maybe set it into 25 characters, and maybe you are going to put a name, 25 characters, a surname, 25 characters, uh, male or female, uh, maybe it can be a Boolean, choose a, a control that is suitable for a Boolean, or you can choose a, a, a radio group, uh, maybe you've got a list of schools where by a person has to choose. You can use a drop down list. It is important. The controls are very important. Use these controls when possible. Spin edit for integer value. Yes, that is very, very correct. A spin edit can be used for an integer value. Checkbox for Boolean values. A checkbox can be used for Boolean values. Combo box or radio groups where options are limited or fixed. So here um, in radio buttons, you can maybe you have got uh, maybe five or how many when you have got limited uh, options, then you can use the two. Combo boxes and list boxes can be populated with data from the table. Use code to limit errors. Numerical data can be checked for conversational errors where um, with try except blocks. Check that um, numerical data falls in the correct space. Ensure that compulsory fields contain data. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, on our next lesson, the first thing I want us to start with is inserting a field. Try this insert method before we can go to delete.
just like we did today. We we'll kept the previous lesson and then go to the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are the best. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at mtobisagono at gmail.com.